what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on the famous govardhan puja festival which is happening in this month of kartik the auspicious month of kartik has started where we are expected to do special worship related to lord vishnu lord krishna or lord ram as diwali also just went so we'll see what is the significance of govardhan puja and what govardhan is or who govardhan is and what's the story behind the worship of the govardhan hill in vrindavan and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch this video till the end and if you are interested in doing some donation for the sustenance of this channel then the link to paypal is there below in the comments all right what is govardhan puja govardhan puja is the worship which is made to the govardhan hill well how the story goes the shrimad bhagavatam explains this story in vivid detail what happened is once indra the king of the heavens became very much puffed up with his power might and strength and because of which he was accustomed and he was used to getting the praise the honor the worship of the people from braj bhumi which is vrindavan where lord krishna was born personally and because of that he became very much attached to his authority yes because lot of power is there in the hands of the king of the demigods indra himself therefore lord krishna because he is always concerned about his devotees and especially indra is a very great personality a very great devotee of lord vishnu and he is a very surrendered soul and that is why whenever lord krishna will see that any of his surrendered devotees are getting afflicted by symptoms of pride then he will not leave any stone unturned to break their pride and to bring humility in them so that they can realize who is the actual controller that is krishna himself and therefore once what lord krishna did is lord krishna told to his father nanda maharaj that my dear father why are you wasting time and money and energy by doing worship of indra yes indra is actually bound to give you results indra has nothing in his hands he is just a puppet he is just giving things which the nature is telling him to give and ultimately it is our own actions which are supreme yes if we do our actions the demigods are bound to give us the fruits and this is a uh, atheistic philosophy which krishna is telling where krishna is denigrating the role of god and he is putting karma as the supreme he is delineating the principle of daiva from karma which is not good which is not correct but he purposefully does that so that the people can forget about indra and by that he can teach a lesson to indra so therefore he is preaching temporary atheism here that whatever you know just do it only that matters whatever god wants it doesn't matter do not take that very seriously <laughs> that is a temporary philosophy which he is speaking there in the bhagavatam and then krishna is god himself so he has the power to speak in a way that everybody will be convinced and that's what happens everybody gets convinced that yes 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 it is this and somehow krishna convinces the people of vrindavan that it is this mountain govardhan because of which we are sustaining sustaining actually because it has grass over which the cows go and graze and then they will have the food which is required for milk and then by that milk you get butter ghee paneer rasgulla <laughs> on which we are sustaining therefore it is important that we worship govardhan the mountain rather than worshiping indra who is anyways bound to give us results and then what krishna does is 
he somehow compels them he somehow speaks in a way that because he is god he can do that right he can speak exactly those words which will motivate the other people and then everybody agreed and then they said yes 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 krishna is right we should not offer worship homage to indra we should offer it to the mountain govardhan and then they started doing puja for govardhan and then what happened is they offered lot of bhoga food to govardhan and govardhan ate it all <laughs> and it gave it back whatever it had eaten as prasad and then the vrajvasis enjoyed the prasadam i will not go into the detailed description of the prasadam because otherwise i have to start cooking again <laughs> maybe you can understand it by my expressions mm. <laughs> now what happened is as soon as indra came to know about this that oh they are not offering homage unto me they are not doing yagya sacrifices in my name they are doing in the name of this mountain then indra asked his messengers that why are the vrajavasis the people of vindavan doing it like this and then they said that oh there's a boy a small boy called krishna who has motivated them who has instigated them to do like this and then indra said who is this krishna because although indra knows krishna is the supreme lord himself but sometimes when pride will overcome you you still cannot see just like even when krishna was there in the time of the kurukshetra war people like duryodhana dushasana and karna could not see krishna's presence and that is why they suffered miserably and they died terribly <laughs> especially these three characters dushasan duryodhan and especially karna in the mahabharat therefore it is important that even if we have god in front of us but if you have pride inside if you think you know or if you think you are superior then even if god is there in front of you you still cannot access his mercy you will feel as if there's nothing great about him <laughs> that's what duryodhan felt right duryodhan is to say yeah krishna is very powerful but <coughs> that doesn't mean he can do anything because he denied krishna's presence or his presence as the supreme lord as supreme god himself and then what happened he suffered miserably so the similar mistake indra did so indra called the special samvartaka clouds and by that what he did was samvartaka clouds are special clouds which are summoned during the pralay which is the destruction <coughs> of the universe they are disaster pouring clouds <laughs> they don't pour rain they pour disaster you the pillars of torrential rain for months days years together and then what happened krishna uh, indra called the samvartaka clouds and they started pouring rain recklessly and they started pouring 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 and then there was entire flood in gokul in vindavan and then they decided that we cannot live here and then krishna told everybody that don't worry i will lift the govardhan and you take shelter inside it and then lord krishna goes and he lifts the govardhan mountain with the tip of this pinky finger <laughs> with his left hand see the tip of the pinky finger is very delicate this part but he does it effortlessly he does it and then what happens for 7 days indra continues the torrential rain using the samvartaka clouds but ultimately all his efforts go to vain <laughs> because everything which he did revamped back it didn't have any effect because the clouds were full <laughs> full of what of releasing all of their water and then they went to indra and said i am sorry sir we have exerted ourselves to the fullest we can't do anything now and then indra himself went and used his thunderbolt and he started pouring rain 
and this whole leela went on for seven days and all the seven days lord krishna had picked up the govardhan mountain on his pinky finger the left tip of the pinky finger left finger and then all the vrajvasis the people of vrindavan were taking shelter below the govardhan parvat the mountain and then after seven days krishna uh, krishna finally understood that indra has now failed and then indra stops his downpour and he realizes krishna is the supreme god himself and then he is very much ashamed and then krishna puts down the govardhan and things return back to normal in vrindavan and then what happens indra was thinking how to go to krishna and then he goes to lord brahma and asks oh lord brahma what should i do and then lord brahma says take a cow with you and go to krishna when you when krishna will see a cow he will be easily pleased and then indra goes and personally he prays to krishna that please forgive me i did a big mistake <laughs> I didn't know that you are supreme. I knew it, but still, it covered me. Your Maya is very strong. Daivi hesha guna mai mama Maya duratya mama eva me prapadyante Maya metam tarandite. And previous to the shloka is Trivir guna mai bhavayer. So these are shlokas from the Bhagavad Gita to exemplify the power of the illusory potency, Devi Maya, Devi Durga, who is in charge of this prison of this material world. that is why her name is durg a durg means prison a is the keeper yes so she is the perfect keeper and she is instructed by the lord himself so that she keeps the souls like you and me entangled in this world because of our own desire yes and then what happened is krishna ultimately forgave he forgave indra and then Indra also requested him that my son Arjuna is there please help him in the course of his life then Krishna promised him that yes i will help Arjuna now what's the lesson from Govardhan Leela the lesson is very simple that Krishna lifted the mountain what is the mountain here the mountain is compared to the difficulties that arise from the sins of our past life should i repeat mountain refers to the sins of our past the challenges the difficulties that we face because of the inevitable sins that we performed in our past and maybe the sins which are which we are going on performing now and that baggage that mountain is there with us because of which we are suffering now either you are enjoying or you are miserable you are still suffering in this world if you are away from spiritual wisdom and spiritual enlightenment spiritual upliftment yes therefore it is important to say here that we need to check who can take care of this burden <laughs> because it's a very big burden you see so many millions of sins you have committed we have committed so many sins we don't know but then what to do should we just sit and keep crying no see the mountain may be very big but krishna can lift it like this effortlessly he can just throw the mountain from here to there so that means we should take shelter of god whichever religion we are whichever tradition we are whichever process we are following we should be following it diligently for spiritual pursuits spirituality and god consciousness has to be the number one priority in our life just like for a boy the moment he is in love with a girl she is the number one priority he will not listen to his mother he will not listen to his father he will not listen to his friends he will not listen to his brother or to his sister yes he will only listen to his girlfriend <laughs> because he is very much attached he is controlled by the girl he is helpless he is like a remote control whatever the girl says he will do it without even thinking he will not give a blink of an eye in the initial days of course that doesn't happen lifelong <laughs> i hope 
it would happen <laughs> but somehow it doesn't happen luckily <laughs> after the honeymoon phase wavers off then things get back to normal you realize that the person is not the way i expected right but till the time the honeymoon phase is there the boy will feel like that and then what happens he puts her as the first priority so similarly we also have to put our spiritual practices either we are a student or we are working as an mba graduate or as a master student or we are studying bachelors or we are working in a business or you have your own business you are having your startup company or you have your father's business or you are venturing into something with somebody or you have a hotel or you are a bollywood actor or you are a musician or you are a painter or you are a youtuber <laughs> irrespective of that god consciousness has to be our number one priority that is what is meant by this leela because then what happens when you put krishna as the first priority then krishna will lift the burden of your sins the govardhan mountain yes like he lifted and he protected the people of vrindavan because they took shelter there because of which they were protected for 7 days from rain nothing happened to them so similarly krishna will also take the mountain of sins which we have been accumulating from the past millions of lifetimes and he will free us from the suffering there you go that is it from my side this gordhan puja pray to lord krishna or to whichever tradition you are connected to and make a vow that i will make my spiritual life as my first priority then you see how things will change in your life okay if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you have any questions queries or comments regarding this video or any of my other videos then please let me know in the comment section and also check out the bhagavad gita series which i have started okay until next time bye bye see you